Hello folks, doing a clip of version of this just in case I get something wrong. I'm trying to do it all in one take. <laughs> uh, welcome, this is me DJ Raymond in the sun. I'll try to move the pad around to get the right thing. Now I'm doing an iPad too, and the reason for that is because I'll suddenly have to get some parasol. Uh, and I'm like, feel like about a foot away from the pad, uh, trying to get out a reflection. And I usually do it with the camera, but uh, for some reason... Uh, there, you know, there's no level to put it up. You know, I, I, I can I can do it up by hand free. But I've got a few things to show you. Um, I will be out, I, like I said before. Um, I'm not doing as many videos. I'm, I I got some vlog footage from Oxford um, from yesterday when me Lisa from Massachusetts she's come out to England for a while to stay uh, on a holiday, and we went on the tour bus of Oxford. I did a lot of footage of that, but I got a finer version. It's got audio on because I did try something, but uh, depends what happens with that. I won't be doing anything until the weekend because this is now Wednesday, the 15th of July. Uh, sorry, pardon me, uh, 17th of July. Uh, the, the show on Monday didn't really go according to plan, so I'm leaving that until tomorrow, Thursday. Got work to do, so uh, this is a sort of middle ground video I'm doing. Now, I said I thought I'd do like a video, uh, a vlog of CDs I've been buying recently. Two I haven't got here because I was going to do one the other day, but I haven't got enough time. Uh, first one off the pile. So I got a uh, well. One reason I buy a couple of reasons I buy CDs. I should say because I used to buy a lot of vinyl, but of course ripping off vinyl takes time. And I've selling some of my collection recently. So uh, uh, a couple of reasons. One, if I could find something out ordinary, oh, I've never had. Uh, one. Uh, the other reason is if I find a backup of a vinyl, or another one because things like drum and bass. I got a lot of vinyl, but nothing on CD. Not really much. And I thought, ah, I'll buy a few things. So this is what I got. Subway, which is a film by Luc Besson, who did Leon and a few other decent films, is a French producer, uh, sorry, film director, and this is the French CD of Subway, which has got Christopher Lambert in. I believe Christopher La uh, this is his first film, but this is from 85, classic stuff from the 80s. So I got that, I thought it was only 50p. Another one, which uh, I bought, because it's a great hits, and I've never read anything on CD other than I got vinyl again, that's the reason for that. Art, you want to read? Category. <laughs> Uh, and you're on vinyl category. Uh, yeah, great. It's, it's a bit of a not exactly good nick with CD case. Uh, the CD is alright, but uh, it was good to be you know to back up and uh, to play on the radio if anybody requests it. Because like if you those two CDs and the ones coming up, if you want to request anything, you see this video, you can comment. You know, that's one of the reason why I'm doing it. Uh, I've seen this for CD for a while actually. I've got some of the pics of stuff. Uh, of course, get, well, I haven't got this. Any, it's gone vinyl. This is kind of like out of the ordinary category if you want to put it like that. Frank Black. Uh, the reason I got this because he's related to the pictures. That's how I know this guy. As in, he's in band, member of the band. Teenager of the Year on 4AD. And that's in his CD for ages. If I looked at it a couple of years ago, I wouldn't have bothered because I was just into vinyl. But because I'm buying a few CDs, it's easy to play. It's easy to get a CD, get the CD, put it in the laptop, and burn it a couple of tracks. I don't burn all the albums to play on broadcast, but uh, it's just handy to have, not handy to play when I want to. In the just want to get something in category when I see it because it is cheap 50p and I think I've got, I got a few I've got a few on Gretzis on vinyl from somewhere uh, or I've got a couple of 12 inches in the singles I should say Gretzis the Jam yeah 50p Pfft, you can complain about that 19 tracks so I've got something there I can just play or put on my radio shows now this one I, uh, I got on my head recently about playing drum and bass on the show I've been playing a few things I haven't got loads again this is in Vinyl, but when you get CD backups category, I got a stack of drum and bass vinyl that high or more, and I got Aphrodite, Ed Rush, I got loads of stuff one size, and this is the reason I bought this because I've had it before, but vinyl wise you just can't get it anyway. So I got the one CD version of this. It's got brown paper bag on, and I wanted some more drum and bass anyway. I thought 50, for a pound, he's going to complain about that. Off the car boot, most of this stuff anyway, all this stuff as a matter of fact. Um, yeah, so got that. Um, actually, got that sun, got this Sunday at the car boot as well as a jam. Actually, all this stuff I got Sunday, so I've got quite a good hoard really. Uh, but this is drum and bass, jazz, kind of bass, drum and bass. A lot of people know, well, if you don't know drum and bass, you've probably heard Brown Pepper Bag somewhere. Uh, there's a four minute version, this is the nine minute version on here. So, got like that if you see it. Got a few things, Share the Fall and things, so. But this is going into my like CD drum and bass collection. I don't buy mixes drum and bass because it. What's the point of doing that? You can't play them on the radio. I prefer doing one sort of whole tracks so if people can get to know what drum bass is like. A lot of people don't know or don't really care about drum bass. They prefer rock pop. But if you 
generally ease people into it, like Goldie and stuff. I don't play hard stuff, I don't play it all the time, but this is quite good in the end. Classic album. Now, um, you can call this a new submission, actually, if you like, uh, for the radio show. Uh, this is given to me at Bodfest by the band Mundane Sands. I managed to catch Joe, he's the guitarist of the band, before they went on, and um, Alan, I think he's a cute. Um, yeah, Alan, he's a lead guy. He gave me a CD because I couldn't catch the whole band for an interview at the time not on uh, Bodfest, which was Sunday, which was the 13th of July. And good to show that. That's all up anyway. But Mundane Sands CD. Look at that. Fabulous. At the time when I heard uh, Wishing Well, which is, a, which is a song I originally got off Chris Oakes, who's a music coordinator at the festival, I thought, ah, oh, cool. First track on the album, as a matter of fact. And nice bass line. But they're kind of like the levelers a little bit. If you want to compare a band, or if you never heard these guys, if you want to like, oh, who do they sound like? The Levelers, they've got, they haven't got, they're not overflowing with fiddles or violins. Uh, Alan's got an accordion, which is pretty cool. So they've got like a Levelers feel, nice bass line to it as well. So yeah, so that's what I've got CDs. I will be doing some more CDs when I get them in the future. So you kind of know what I'm getting, uh, like backups, because I've done it before. Uh, I got a Port said third album for cheap because I got the vinyl album, but... I don't like overplaying vinyl albums particularly, and I've got back up to CDs, and then Apple just stopped at the three. <laughs> you hear that? I don't know what this catch is. But yeah, um, there will be more coming up. There will be a review, overview of the week. Uh, there hasn't been much going on this week, but there's tons last week, so it depends what goes on. Um, and of course, I'm putting out there now uh, some else will be in another video. So, many thanks for watching.